Hi everyone, you know the drill. I've got a review here for you today. This is the Velbon Sherpa 200R three-way pan head uh, tripod. I've had a couple of these tripods for over a year now and I feel like I can do an adequate review now for all of you. So let's go over the good things about this tripod. One of the biggest things about this tripod that makes it a good uh, affordable filmmaking and videography and photography tool is that it's inexpensive. It's $130 on Amazon.com. You can get it prime shipping and you can get it at several other websites as well. One thing that makes life easy with this tripod is the quick release plate on the top, which is a pretty standard feature, but uh, Velvon makes it easy on this tripod um, to just put it in and then just push it down and it'll snap and lock in place just like that for you. Another useful feature, especially for photographers, is the ability to um, quickly turn it vertical and horizontal and then tighten it in the back using this knob. One pro and con about this tripod is that it's light and I'll go into the cons about that later but the pros about that are that it's very easy to carry around it, um, it folds up very small just like that and it comes with a nice bag and I am surprised about this bag how nice it's held up it's got an adjustable strap on the back um, but this is a sturdy bag that it comes with another really nice feature about this tripod is that not only the legs move up in three different columns but you can also move the entire uh, center shaft up and down and with that you can also take it out and you can mount it on the bottom, which I've done several times to get very low angles. The thing that put this tripod in my survival kit is that it's so quick and easy to bring the legs out and to bring them back in. You can quickly unsnap all of the legs, extend them all out, and then quickly snap them into place. And then when you're going to take the whole tripod down, you just snap all six of the column locks and then slide them all back in and it's ready to go. The three-way pan head on this tripod is also very, very nice. I've gotten some really smooth, uh, buttery camera uh, moves with this tripod. So now let's talk about some of the cons about this tripod. A, it's not as professional looking as other tripods. However, it's a fraction of the cost of a lot of the more professional tripods out there, like Manfrotto, Miller, any of those bigger uh, tripod brand names. One other negative is that it does not have separate pan and tilting locks on it. It simply has one lock here in the back, and then you can move it however you'd like, and then when you tighten it up, you just you can't move it, which is a nice quick feature, but for a professional tripod, uh, not so much. The other negative about it is that it comes loose from its tripod base a lot, and then it kind of gets wobbly. So you have to make sure that it's really tight onto the tripod legs before you move it at all, and that you uh, just make sure that it's, that it's tight throughout your entire shoot. Another negative about this tripod is that it's light, and that is a pro when you're carrying it around and having to haul it, but it's also a con when you're using it. Um, on several occasions, I've had this tripod when I've been moving it, when it's fully extended out um, at, its, at its highest length, I've had the, the legs actually come off of the ground as I'm trying to uh, manipulate the head of the tripod. And that creates uneven and uh, undesirable shots. Another inconvenience about this tripod is that it does not have a ball leveler on it, uh, which means that you um, basically have to just look at your camera and watch the horizon line, put maybe grids on your camera to make sure that it is level for you. All in all, this is a really good tripod. If you're just getting into video or you need a decent um, secondary camera or B camera tripod, this would be a really good option for you. This would also be a great starter tripod for a small time videography company uh, or a photographer for that matter. Given its price point, its versatility, and the beautiful camera moves that you can get with it if you practice, I'm going to rate this tripod a 4.5 out of 5. Definitely a tripod that I'd recommend owning, especially since it's only $130. You can just throw it in your kit and if you ever have a problem um, with your other tripod, 
uh, or your other tripods, you know, you can pull this uh, tripod out and it'll be a, a good, durable tripod for you. Please subscribe to the channel and share this video with anyone who may be interested. Please leave your comments and questions below, and remember, save your hateful comments for the person who stole the love of your life from you, and we'll see you next time.